morning and welcome to MAM Talks. I'm Kathy. I'm Anna. And today we're going to be discussing how to stay motivated during the pandemic. So basically you're saying while we're being quarantined. Are you not quarantined anymore? <laughs> no, but I still feel like, I think this has kind of been a struggle for me, this staying motivated, because I am always going and doing and socializing and you know, that's just kind of how I am. And even though I'm still able to go do things, it's so different. And I just don't wake up with the same kind of motivation. And I look at my calendar and it's like, oh, I have nothing today or tomorrow. Or it's just, a, it's so different. And I, I'm, I'm having a hard time with it. I really am. It gets me down sometimes. And I feel fortunate because there's some people who are not leaving their house. They've mm -hmm. got really serious, you know, compromised immune systems. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like, oh, I, should, I can't complain. I'm not really complaining. I'm just trying to say, how, how can we motivate ourselves when we're feeling that lack of it? You know, it's so funny because I, I was thinking about this yesterday. Um, I'm totally the opposite. When I have to be home 24-7, my list of, of things I wanted to do and get done was so long. And I, I was working on it every day and I was, I was really happy. Now that I can go out, now that I can go to the market and I can go, you know, get blood work or whatever. Now I'm like, gosh, I don't have time to do all these things that I were, was doing for right. the two months that I was home. And that's kind of getting to me. Well, and that's, they do, and that's one of the things, the first things they say is to set like small daily goals. So mm -hmm. in the morning, I will sit there with my computer and my calendar and kind of put things, okay, I want to get this done today, this done today, this done today. And do you do it? Mostly, yeah. Oh, okay. And there's not that many. I mean, there are little things. It could be like stop at, you know, make a call, a lot of calls, a lot of call this company or call this company. Um, but it's it's just so different. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you guys feel the same way. Um, I know some people are going out as if there is no pandemic. And that's too scary for me. I'm not there yet. I know restaurants have opened and, and gyms and nail salons. And I'm not ready to go to a restaurant although i'll walk into a market with a mask on. with the mask. oh yeah and now if i that's and you don't thing. touch anything i mean well I, I, the touching I isn't the concern as much as the mask the mask to me is the big thing um they're also saying like if you're someone who works at home and you have like a nine to five job if that's what you do kind of keep it that way monday through friday when you're home work your nine to five job take a lunch break take time out to you know go do things you know, during the day, go get a snack or go get, you know, um, a, some juice or a drink, whatever you do. But try and keep that normalcy mm -hmm. of being at work, which we're not. We're retired. So our day is very different. Why the face? <laughs> you ever notice the faces Anna makes? I just realized my what? son scheduled a Zoom family meeting. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was for last night. I don't think we had it. Okay, back. Back. Okay, this sorry. is your work. You're working right now. Well, because right now. she says... Um, you know, carve out time. No, what did you say? <laughs> See, she didn't even listen to me. Carve out time for work and relaxation. So if you have a nine to five yeah. at five o'clock, be done. And I think that people tend to either work less or more mm -hmm. when they're working from home. Um, yeah. Also, you know, scheduling the virtual get togethers. I have Enjoyed oh, that's FaceTime. What made me think of my son's call. Yeah, I've enjoyed FaceTime a lot because I can see people and talk to them that I never used to FaceTime with. Mm -hmm. You know, um, or if somebody is further away, you can't go drive over there. I mean, I really haven't had, other than some family, really haven't had people in my house. You haven't either, other than no. Any, and you any... know, how lucky are we that we are living in a time when there's technology? Oh, because can you imagine, like. The isolation, it's just... It, it's... Well, even even if things were normal, if your kids live far away from you, like my son lives far, not to be able to see him in, even on Zoom or mm -hmm. FaceTime, oh my gosh. It would be really hard. That would be, I don't know how moms yeah. used to do it. I yeah. really don't. Um, also talking about it, it talks about prioritizing your mental health. Um, I think this time causes a lot of anxiety. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. So there's a lot going on in life. Right. So if you can get yourself outside and take a walk, if you can just do some little exercise in the house, not, not to do some crazy stuff, just to get your body moving. 
I know in the morning when I wake up lately, I'm like, oh, everything's a little bit stiffer than it was. And once I get... Well, not me. Mm -mm. Yeah, right. I find that once I get up and I start moving around and doing things, I do feel better. And then by the end of the day, I'm, you know, I, I feel like I can get on my treadmill and that's my big thing. I don't really like to take I'm more off. concerned about, you know, of course this is part of mental health, but I'm worried about my brain not working enough, you know, so. Oh, your brain works overtime. No, no, that's overtime. not what I mean. It's like, you know, so I keep trying to do like crossword puzzles mm -hmm. and Sudoku and games and, and, you know, or riddles or learn something new every day. I, I just feel like, God, I just don't want my brain to stop working, right? doing the same things every day. But I think when you stay active and, and healthy, um, you know, barring all other things, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that, that you naturally are going to, you, know, you, you drift towards doing things that take mental thinking, mental work. And that's just part of who you we are. We all know Emma doesn't doesn't like to exercise. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing yeah. it. I've been doing it every single day. Yeah. But I hate it. Here's the other part that I really have a hard time with. Being okay with not being as productive as you normally are. So on the days where I'm home and I don't have anything going on that day, I start feeling like, God, what, how lazy are you just sitting around? And I also find this is going to sound really weird, but I find like if I do my exercise in the morning, so I do like three miles on my treadmill. Oh my God. By three o'clock, that's a long time. That's like hours away. I start feeling like I haven't done anything today. Like but you, maybe do. I should, you do. Maybe really. I should go like on my treadmill. But, but I have. It's just, it's a weird thing. It's like, it's, it's you got to say to yourself, it's okay to not do the hundred things you used to do yeah although i i have to can't tell, this this is just my upbringing and it's funny because my sister's doing the same thing i've done this all my life when i go to sleep at night i said did i earn my daily bread and then i list all the things i've done today you write them down i don't but i i you enumerate think about them. okay i washed clothes i went on my treadmill i paid bills and I took care of my peach tree. To me, okay, I, I did something today. But that's just me my entire life. I think it's my upbringing, my Catholic upbringing. You know, our daily bread. And mine is is mm. not sitting still very often, which I've had to do a lot of. So oh, I'm perfectly fine. I would that. do all sorts of things in the morning and then maybe have lunch. And then this is you know, pre pandemic. And then I would go do a couple more things and be home by like two o'clock. And I'd be like, Oh, there's nothing to do. It's, t I, it's a bad I thing. I love being home. I know I'm, I'm used to it now. I mean, I'm getting more used to it, but I still really struggle with that motivation. But you, thing. Do, you cook, you bake with Steve. You've cut his hair. I mean, you do a lot. You have three <sighs> dogs of, to take care of. Right? That's like three babies. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's, I'm just used to being ridiculously, probably not healthy, busy, um, going in my car a lot. I mean, I know you live in your car, and Jen has not said lately. That many times, not right? lately. Not put many miles on that car. I love it. I, I really. I'm getting used to it. Like I said, the motivation is just hard for me, and it's it tends to get me kind of down. And again, I feel really fortunate we don't want to get down. I feel really fortunate that I can go out and do things. But I'm still leery about a lot of things, so I really limit those things that I do. As do you. Oh, yes. I'm being careful. Mm -hmm. I'm being careful mostly because um, I don't want to be a burden on my kids if I get sick. That's really why I'm being more careful with myself. I'll take care of you, Anna. <laughs> well, they'll want to take care of me, but I don't want them to. You know, and this thing about being in the hospital and your loved ones not being able mm. to see you... I know that my sons would be very angry and I, I just don't want to go there with yeah. them. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for joining us. Please stay healthy, stay mentally healthy. Wear your mask. Let us know where you're at and what are you doing during these times and uh, keep safe, stay healthy. 
Remember our YouTube channel, which is Mam Talks, which you're probably watching right now to see this. So make sure, please share it and subscribe, 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 subscribe to everything. And our our our, <laughs> our uh, website www.mamtalks.com. We have two new articles on there, so please check those out. Thank you so much for joining, and remember to keep embracing getting older with us. Bye. Bye.